Hello everyone, fellow adventurers and future Canadians. Welcome to another episode of Maple Stories. My name is Shanona and today I will share my personal journey that how I have sponsored my education without any loan or without any kind of financial assistance. So have you ever thought of pursuing your education abroad and your financial condition is creating biggest obstacle in your dream? Don't worry, you come to the right place. Today I will share five strategies which can help you to fund your education without any loan or any kind of scholarships. So without a further ado, let's begin. Hello, I am Sharona, your host, and I will share my personal journey. So when I was planning for my master's from Canada, I knew finance will be an issue. But I have used few strategies to deal with the situation and I want to share those with you. But here is the deal. You don't need to be a genius for that. All it takes is determination, a little bit of planning and a whole lot of hustle. So let's break it step by step. The step one is all about building connections and doing research about your university, the countries you want to go and the courses. Start early, just like I did almost a year before my application. Explore the universities, reach out to the professors in your field of interest. Dive into their research paper, their research interests, recent research projects. Even you can reach out to them via email. You will be surprised how this can open various doors. By the time admission decisions roll in, you could have professors interested in you and even offering you teaching, teaching assistantship or research assistantship positions. In my case, I have already received five offers from five different professors of three different universities who are interested to take me as a RE. So this does not only boost your confidence, but also give you a financial assurance. Then step two. Do not procrastinate. Take the GMAT early and apply to the universities as soon as possible. Early applicants often have higher acceptance rates and scholarship offering chances, so do not miss out on the opportunity. Step 3 is all about right decisions when you have multiple offers on the table. It is not only about tuition fee or the scholarship you are getting. Consider the bigger picture. Take a closer look at the living expenses, the transportation cost, and other university-related expenses. If possible, connect with the senior students via LinkedIn or other social media platform to get a concrete overview. And hey, if you are coming to Quebec, do not hesitate to reach out to me for more insights. Step 4. It is the time to dive into the hustle. Try to opt for the on-campus jobs whenever possible. They tend to be more understanding of your exam schedule and your academic commitments. Try not to opt for the odd jobs. And also remember, it is very important to have a strong LinkedIn profile to get the scholarships or the internships or the part-time jobs. <clears throat> I will make a detailed video on this that how to make your LinkedIn profile strong and catchy and how to reach out to the right people at the right time. So stay tuned for that. And the step five. I know things will get daunting, but remember, you are not alone. Surround yourself with good friends, connect yourself with family and other support groups inside the university or maybe outside. I have received various helps, even job recommendations from my student group, from my LinkedIn community. So. These groups can be invaluable for finding job and internship opportunities and offering guidance. So reach out to them and ask for the help. So there, you have everything with you. A simple, effective strategy to fund your education. I have followed exactly the same strategies. And if you found this video helpful, and if you have any kind of questions, drop a comment below. I'm here to guide you on your journey. Thank you for being a part of Maple Stories family. Until next time, keep believing in your dream and taking those steps to turn them to reality. Bye for now.